What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you five really niche books, really, really fun, cool books that I flipped on Amazon for $20 and more profit. These are books that I bought on Amazon and resold on Amazon. If you're new to the channel, my name's Joji. I'm a high school teacher and in my spare time, I like flipping books on the side so I can reach financial independence a little bit faster. But over here, uh, we're gonna start off with a book called The Sandlot. And if you know anything about The Sandlot or know anything about baseball, this is an absolute classic, but this is a book that I just recently sold. And actually see, I sold it here two days ago, it sold for 60 bucks. And I bought this on September 8th. Let me show you the order. You can actually see I bought two copies for 14.51. So out the door, I was about 29.02. Okay, so if I put the buy cost in there for 14.51 and then put the sales price of 60 bucks, we made a $29 profit. And so what I wanna do with these five books is kind of just look at the keeper graphs and tell you, you know, why this is a book I would buy. So then the feature, if you're you're looking for books on Amazon to buy and the resale on Amazon, you, you're a little bit in better shape. So this is a Sandlot. It's a really interesting keeper graph. And the reason why it's interesting is because the price has been really low here in August, September. You can see for about a month's period of time, it was right around like 10 to 15 bucks. And I think that's actually what, yeah, that's when I actually picked up a couple copies here. But you can see like from between May, June, July, August, it was basically super, super expensive. I mean, it was listed at $100. We don't see any sales rank drops. You know, this green line called sales rank is basically a metric that we can use to determine how popular the book is. And whenever you see this sales rank improve dramatically and you see this large drop in sales rank or a large decrease in the sales rank, that would indicate that the book became more popular than it sold. So really all we're trying to do is kind of look at what has the use price been over the last year, three years, five years, and when do we see the sales rank drop? And if we can align those two things the sales running drop over the the time you know when we see the lowest use price we can get a good indicator of what it sold for so for example going back to this time period where it looked like you know the use price is right around 12 or so bucks we actually see a, a lot more sales running drops there and it makes sense people you know more people are probably willing to buy this when it's cheaper right around 12 bucks but what i want to do is kind of go back into the past so over here on the keeper graph i'm gonna go to all and expand over the last you know five six seven eight years back to 2016 you can actually see that the lowest use price of this book is only, is very consistently like north of 40 or 50 bucks now there are definitely periods of time where gets really cheap i even got down to 81 cents there you know back in 2017 got down to $1.99 but we do see periods of time where there's sales rank drops in the 40 range and so what that tells me is that, okay this is a book that potentially could sell for some pretty good money so you know, i picked up my copy for 14.51 was to mine for right around 60 bucks and it sold there and the next one you know was likely to sell for there as well now what's really fascinating about this is you know you can set yourself up for this book to try to buy it again in the future you actually will see that there's only three people under community tracking who are tracking this book so what i'm going to do is set a keep alert to try to get notified if this product ever goes below that price again so all you gotta do is come up here to the to uh where you see track product click that button and and what you can do is go ahead and put in a price that you want to track. So I want to track this for $9 or less, $9. And I'm going to click this include historical or include shipping costs. And by the way, to kind of see this more advanced view, you have to be on the advanced tracking mode here. And I'm going to track over the next decade because I mean, over the next 10 years, this is a book that I don't see why it would sell for 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks again. So if I can pick it up for under nine bucks, which is actually lower than what I bought it for originally, I think it'd be, it'd be great. So we made a 200% ROI in this book, $29 profit, really awesome book. Three days ago, we sold this book called Captives of Blue Mountain. I picked this one out because it just looks fascinating. I mean, look at that cover art of this book. Uh, this definitely, so this is the saga of the Wolf Riders continues and a story that tells us of the bird spirits who attack the tribe and carry off. Okay, so this is a really cool niche book. This is something that, again, doesn't have tons of sales rank drops over the last years, but it does sell. And you can see that the lowest cheese price, when we see these sales rank drops, is like over 70 bucks there. It's the 70 range there. Uh, I decided to pick up this book on Keepa Deals. Got some videos on my channel, how to use Keepa Deals. But you can see there's this one large time drop in price for 44 bucks, all the way down to 14.96. That was actually my buy cost. And you can see that happened here on October 12th. And you can see that there's the proof that I did buy it. So you purchased this on October 12th. And furthermore, there's the proof right there, $14.96. By the way, this was delivered to my prep center. So I actually don't even handle these books. They go right to my prep center. The prep center sends them to an FBA warehouse and then they go live for people to buy. So, you know, I'm a high school teacher. I don't have time to be, you know, uh, sending all my books into Amazon. I don't have time to go out thrifting and library sales. You know, I have, I have a nine to five job. I have a 15 month old son. So, you know, my sourcing or when I buy inventory is gonna be late at night like this. So um, yeah, a really cool book, 1496. Again, we were able to sell for 69.99. So I put in you know, the cost price and sales price, we made a $33 profit and a 200 22% ROI. So I'm using uh, a software called SellerAmper here. It's a really cool way for you to track, uh, you know, it has a, a profit calculator to give you the cost price and the sales price. Also a really good way to track your books. So if you're getting really deep into the weeds on this, you're gonna wanna make sure you're tracking your books 
and make sure that uh, you know how much money you spent. And I've got other videos on my channel about how to you sell or have to track books. And so you can check that video out right here if you want to do that. But really cool book. You know, the reason why I bought this is it's a very niche book. If you look at this over the last few years, you can see that well, actually right now, this new price of $3,000 is kind of stretching the graph and making it a little bit harder to view. And even this used price at one point got up to 700 bucks. But if you just look at the last couple of years, this book has had multiple sales and drops between 70 to 80 bucks. You know, it was a little cheaper back here for a couple of months. And that would have been a great time to pick up some copies, but this is something that holds some pretty good value. And so I think I should track this book. There's actually nobody even tracking this right now, which, you know, one of the ways that you're going to get ahead in this Amazon, Amazon book flipping game is that you got to uh, resell the same books over and over again. So here's a book I sold successfully. It's very likely in the future that this book could get down to the same sort of price. So over the next 10 years, I want to track it. So again, I'm going to come up here, go to the track product feature, and I'm just going to say, hey, if this book, you know, I could have gotten even a little bit more. My book sold for $69.99. I mean, there were some sales in the 70 to 80 range. So I'll be a little bit more aggressive. Let me say if this book ever gets to $19.99 or less, I'm going to include shipping costs. Over the next 10 years, I'll get an email notification. And just a quick little side note where you can see those is that you can actually on the keyboard graph, click the manage price watches here and you can uh, actually go to the keep tab, which is going to show you where you have all of your current uh, books that you're tracking. And so if we look at the tracking overview, you'll see that I'm tracking uh, over 4,700 books and you can see here are some of the books I'm tracking. The idea is that if you get notified with an email or a text message and you've got thousands of books you're tracking, I mean, you're eventually gonna get lucky and find something that's good. Now, one other pro tip here is I wanna make sure I check eBay to make sure that there, you know, there aren't any copies over there for sale. It looks like uh, they're uh, at 70 bucks. I'm just out of curiosity to click the sold completed listings and actually see someone on November 25th bought this for $19.99 plus $6 shipping. So that would have been a pretty good deal. It's actually, it's more expensive than what we bought it for, but that still would have been a pretty good deal if, if we were to pick it up then. Hi, the next book I chose is about Pokemon. I actually love, I really love Pokemon. I do actually a little bit of Pokemon card collecting, but Pokemon Black and Black and White 2, this is a, a official strategy guide. And so if we look here at the keep graph, again, it's something that, you know, has a really high sales rate. It can go up to the 2 million, 3 million rank. By the way, you know, I sell a lot of longer tail books, books that are very niche that do sell for a lot of money, but just don't sell super often. So, you know, I like 2 million, 3 million rank books because for me, if they can sell for a lot of money, they offer a lot of a potential return on investment. So this is something that I bought for 24 bucks. You can actually see I bought this on August 29th. You can see I bought it in very good condition, $18 plus some uh, shipping here, 5 dollars shipping, bought it for 24. Also earned 5% back on my Prime Beast Rewards signature credit card, the best credit card to use. 5% back on every purchase. So if you're serious about the Amazon, Amazon game, make sure you check out this video here, which is about the benefits of it. But we, we picked up this book here for a total of 24 bucks. This also sold two days ago, sold for $75 right there. So we made a profit of 20 bucks, 118% ROI. And we can actually look at August 29. That's actually when the price of this book dropped and keep a deal from 88.99. All the way down to 1801 plus shipping. That's when I picked up a copy. And again, I'm looking at the keep grab to see, okay, what has this book been selling for in the past? I see a sales earning drop in the 40 range. Looks like one in the 30 range, one in the 38 range there. I look further back in the time. I see some, you know, more sales earning drops in the 40 to 50 range. But this is a book that, again, has a really high sales rank. I think this is a book that's actually selling more often than the sales rank would make you think. And the reason for that is, I see quite a big change in the offer count. And from just past experience, I know that sometimes if you buy a book on Amazon, the sales rank doesn't necessarily drop or improve. And sometimes, you know, people can buy multiple copies and one sales rank drop, you know, the book might have improved in popularity, but maybe a few copies were actually purchased. So, you know, here's a good example of a time when the offer count went from eight to seven to six to find four to three to two. So you had basically six offers disappear from the listing over a couple week period, but only one sales rank drop, but the sales rank dropped from 2.9 million down to 280,000. So I think what's happening there is Keepa just wasn't really updating the tracking on this listing for a while. There probably were a few sales and drops in there if they were, if Keepa was tracking on a more regular basis. So that's definitely getting a little bit more advanced, but this is something that, you know, was able to pick up for $75. I knew the subject matter of this book would be great. And yeah, great flip. All right, really another uh, niche book here, Sergeant Rock Archives, the volume one. So in a time when America needed a true hero, Sergeant Frank Rock emerged as a symbol of patriotism during the United States battle against the Nazis in World War. So again, another very niche book here, a DC book. If you scroll down the Keeper chart, this is again something that's held some really good value. It's 
you know, lowest use price is almost always around 100 bucks. You see sales rank drops at that point in time. I actually picked this up for a little bit more. I caught, you know, I spent more money in this book. So you can see I bought on April 27th, which is actually quite a while ago. Probably found this on Keepa Deals as well. You can see the price drop from $99 down to $45.99 plus shipping. So you can actually see that I bought it here, $49.98, bought it in these very good condition. And this is a book that normally I probably, I mean, you know, I kind of have this role where I, my goal is to try to buy a book for about a third of what I think it realistically would sell for. This is a book I didn't think would sell for 150 bucks, but this is a book that has held uh, such strong historical data over the last, really last five, six years. I mean, I guess this book actually has sold in the 130 range or, or more than that, but it's something that's been really solid, holding a very high use price. I knew that in this instance I'm, instance, I'm kind of like investing or putting my money into an asset, something that actually holds value. So I knew that even though the potential return on this would be a little bit less, that the, my money invested in this was safe, that this was gonna get a good return. You know, so I was able to sell for 105 bucks. You can see right here, three days ago, sold for $105. And so with the buy cost and sales price, we made $29 profit, 58% ROI. So much lower ROI, but that's a $30 profit and that return on investment is 58%. I mean, your alternative with the money that you have is to invest in the stock market. And on average, you get 8% compounded per year after inflation if you are investing in S&P 500 or total stock market index fund which is something that I do a lot of as well. But in this case, this is money I'm using to invest in books. And so this is a great return, especially for something in my eyes is a for sure thing. This is something that literally since 2014, I don't think it's ever been cheaper than when I bought it for. I mean, there might've been a couple of times. We can actually, it looks like 2015, it was the lowest use price was down to 350. So it got really cheap then. But otherwise, I mean, I think I bought it basically the cheapest it would have ever been. I mean, you can actually see how interesting this is back in October of 2019. Amazon was on the listing for 50 bucks in new condition for a few days. Uh, and that begs the question, hey, could you have flipped this book, bought it on Amazon in new condition and then resold it in used condition? I mean, if you had a, a crystal ball and you could have gone back in time and if you knew that, you know, when this dropped on Amazon and Amazon was selling it, if you knew that Amazon was never going to come back in stock and they only had a few left in stock. I mean, literally just a couple of weeks later, there's you sell 150 bucks, which is triple the retail price. So that begs the question, hey, maybe you track this book. I mean, I'm not even tracking this book. So I'm going to go ahead and track it for $50 in use condition or less. And then I'm also going to track it for that $50 Amazon price or less. And so if any of those get hit, I'll get notified. Potentially I can pick up a copy. All right, the last really cool book that I'm going to share with you today is another niche book. This is called The Woman. Uh, the Woman is the last of her kind, the lone survivor of a tribe of feral cattle who have terrorized the main coast for years. So, I mean, just a fascinating book here. I mean, it's got great reviews. This came out in 2011. And if you look at the Keepa chart, again, this is something that over a long period of time has, especially over the last couple of years, has held some pretty good value, 40 to 50 to 60 bucks in use condition, plenty of sales rank drops. Now I came across this book on March 13th of this year. So I bought it a while ago, about nine months ago. And you can actually see from the Keepa graph here that this book dropped in price from $63 all the way down to 1216 plus shipping. And let me go and show you that's what I did buy it for. Okay, so here it is, 14.15, very good condition. Bought it for $18.14. And you can see it sold right here for $59.97. So I mean, that gives us a $24 profit, 134% ROI. I know a lot of you thinking like, Joe, nine months is a long time to keep your book there. Seller app has this really cool feature where you can click the storage mode. So it's been there for nine months as well. So if you want to see how this affected the profit, if the book was there for zero months and didn't have any storage fees, $24 profit. If it was there for nine days, it's basically still a $24 profit. So essentially, you know, I paid 15 cents in storage fees, but I mean, I'm making $24 profit, which is pretty insane. So this is one of the reasons why I really like long tail books is because it really isn't that expensive to keep books there for one time. And if you know the margins on the book, potentially can be extremely high, then it's well worth paying, a, you know, some extra money in storage fees. All right, guys. So if this model is interesting to you. It's called H2AMs on Amazon. I did make a masterclass called the H2A Masterclass. There's over 200 students in there already. And a lot of people have been giving me great feedback. A lot of people have already been picking up books and been uh, stacking some great deals. So if you guys are interested in this model of buying books on Amazon and reselling them on Amazon, then you know, make sure you check out the Amazon Amazon Masterclass. It's gonna make sure that you kind of skip through all the mistakes that I've made over the last six, seven years. And I'm gonna you know, just go straight into it. Like here's the things that you need. Here's a great way to source books. I'll give you tons of examples. And overall, from the people that have joined, I think a lot of people have liked it. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the masterclass. If you don't got the capital for it yet, or you don't trust me or believe me, then you know, just keep watching the videos. Try try these things out on your own. Uh, try the sourcing videos that I put out on YouTube. And if you start having success with it, I mean, I honestly believe that you'll have success with the videos that are there for free. And I bet you you'd make well more than 
whatever it costs to join the masterclass. So consider investing in yourself, investing in something that's actually gonna work. And I was just thinking about this the other day, like wait, when I think about all the classes I took in college, I don't think there was any class I took in college that I could directly correlate to like me making a lot of money as a teacher, right? Or so in this case, you know, I'm making quite a bit of money. I'm making a second income selling books on Amazon. And you know, if you take the master class, it's essentially equivalent to taking like a community college class. I just think that it's gonna be way more effective and helping you make money. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out. If not, all good. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys will enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.